In the capital in Jamena, the billboards and posters promoting the candidacies of Junta leader Idris Debi and Prime Minister Saxis Masra are already up, despite the official start of campaigns for the presidential election still being weeks away. Campaigning is supposed to kick off on April 14th, according to election authorities. Opposition candidates have lamented the absence of a level playing field. Since April 1st, they've been campaigning on billboards that say, I'm voting for this candidate, I'm voting for that candidate. That's my candidate. And either it's the president's effigy or the effigy of the prime minister, who is also a candidate, and that's frustrating. For candidate Nasra Jimasgar, the undue advantage accorded to his competitors is already undermining the credibility of the May 6th exercise. He says early campaigns give the junta leader 35 days of vote hunting instead of the 21 days quoted by the law. The commission is unable to clearly identify the perpetrators of this serious violation of the electoral code. So we're not surprised. It clearly shows the lack of authority, the lack of neutrality, the incapacity of the electoral administration, and it worries us about the future of this process that is starting. Following pressure from the candidates, the election commission, which has been accused of bias, has issued a press release asking the two candidates to remove their posters. It is true that the commission issued a statement asking the two candidates to remove their posters before the deadline, but we cannot see anything on the ground. The other candidates have threatened to take action to force election authorities to enforce the law.